Welcome to Ring Theory. I have found that it is the small everyday deed of ordinary folks that keep the darkness at bay. Small acts of kindness and love. Gandalf, J.R.R. Tolkien, The Hobbit. In this series of videos, I'll be taking inspiration from this quote and focusing in on the unsung heroes of Middle Earth. In today's episode, I'll be looking at Gwai here, the Lord of the Eagles. Gwai here, also known as the Wind Lord, was the greatest of the eagles left in Middle Earth during the Third Age. Before focusing in on Gwai here himself, one question to answer which always seems to come up when you're discussing eagles, is if the Fellowship could not have just flown them to Mordor. No, they couldn't. Firstly, the whole point of the Fellowship is to have some form of secrecy in their plan to destroy the Ring. The nine members travelling on eagles would literally and figuratively fly in the face of that objective. They would be shot down before getting close to Mount Doom itself. And more importantly, the Eagles wouldn't just take them. The Eagles are messengers and spies of Manwe, the greatest of the Valar. They could see through most physical matter, could talk, and were high intelligent beings. The idea that you could order them like a flying Uber just isn't true. The idea is probably born from the scene in the films where Gandalf appears to whisper to a moth, who then summons Gwaihir to his rescue. In the books, Gwaihir is delivering news from Radagast about the Black Riders when he happens upon Gandalf and saves him upon Orthanc. Focusing back more specifically on Gwaihir, rather than the Eagles in general, his rescue of Gandalf after he was imprisoned by Saruman on Orthanc was probably his most notable act. If this fails to happen and Gandalf does not return to meet the Hobbits in Rivendell, he also would not then be able to lead the Fellowship in their quest. It would most likely be left to Aragorn to lead, and if they took the same route through the Mines of Moria, I struggle to see how any of the Fellowship would survive the encounter with the Balrog without Gandalf. The Ring would almost certainly then be returned to Sauron, ensuring his victory. If this wasn't enough on its own, Gwaihir was also the one who rescued Gandalf's body after his epic battle with the Balrog. On Galadriel's instruction, Gwaihir searched for him upon the Misty Mountains, eventually carrying his body to Lothlorien, and essentially allowing Gandalf the White to be born. Again, the importance of this cannot be underplayed. Gandalf is a character who provides advice and guidance to many of our heroes, saving them in the process. So by rescuing Gandalf on two occasions, it can be argued that Gwaihir has a huge hand and deserves credit for all the future good Gandalf is able to do in the story. For this unheralded character's final contributions, he led the remaining great eagles of Middle-earth with his brother Landreval to fight in the Battle of the Black Gate in The Return of the King. They took the fight to the winged Nazgul, preoccupying them, making them unable to swoop on the army below. This certainly saved many lives in the time before the ring fell with Gollum into the fire of Mount Doom. After the battle was won and they perceived the eruption of Mount Doom, Gandalf said to Gwaihir, Thrice shall pay for all, if you are willing, essentially asking him to bear him one third and final time. He then helps to see through the great smoke around the volcano, finding and saving Sam and Frodo. For a character that in the main plays a bit part role, it's easy to forget just how much of an impact Gwaihi had on significant events in Middle-earth. One final point is that it is a real possibility the eagle who saved Thorin's company from wargs and orcs in The Hobbit was Gwaihi as well. The reason that this can't be confirmed is that the character is not called by name, as he is in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but rather called the Lord of Eagles. Another reason people don't think this is Gwaihir is the quote that I previously mentioned, where Gandalf asks Gwaihir to bear him for a third and final time. He would be asking for a fourth time if it was also Gwaihir that had saved Gandalf, Bilbo and the Dwarves in The Hobbit. My personal opinion is that this was just an oversight, and the Lord of Eagles and Gwaihir were the same character. It may have just been an early, yet to be fully flushed out character, similar to how Thranduil is just called the Elf King in the Hobbit books. 
if I'm right, and the Lord of Eagles and Guai here is the same character, he also goes on to fight in the Battle of the Five Armies, which is another huge help. Of course, this can't be confirmed, but please let me know what you think in the comments below. To conclude, when people are asked to give their favourite Lord of the Rings characters, Gwai here will very rarely ever be in that conversation. You'll hear Sam, Aragorn, Gandalf, who all definitely play their part. However, just as people say Frodo wouldn't have got very far without Sam, Gandalf wouldn't have got very far at all without Gwai here. And if this channel ever grows to have a substantial following, I promise that that will be my very first t-shirt available. I myself failed to notice just how important his actions were until recent rereads. So on behalf of myself and all Lord of the Rings fans who have overlooked you, I apologise and I hail you, deservingly, as an unsung hero of Middle Earth. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel I will be focusing on anything and everything to do with the Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.